Hey everyone, welcome to the Bot TV Podcast. So I want to talk about this woman on Facebook, which her name is Sydney Bruno Backer, who wrote, quote, babies are not born gay or transgender either. They learn that. On a forum page, um, because she thinks that they're not that, and she has a decor page called Bruno Made, which is ironic because Bruno is actually a Spanish word, which means brown. Um, and she's got, obviously, she's a Trumper because they're always Trumpers. They're the most hateful people on the planet. So she has Donald Trump bullshit on her page. She also has All Lives Matter with probably her boyfriend or husband or whatever. And there's also some child on there. I won't post a picture of that because I, I leave kids out of it. But how disgraceful, man. You've got a fucking kid, and this is the bullshit they spew, and you're a fucking parent? I hope your kid turns out gay. I hope your kid, uh, you know, turns around and says, you know, and that's what actually what happened to one of those GOP uh, people. One of them actually, I saw that in the news. I forgot the name because I didn't really pay attention to it because that's how all Republicans are. But anyway, um, she... Like, the guy came out and said, oh, yeah, now, like, totally supportive of gay people now. After his son came out as gay, and then now he's, like, supportive and whatever. But before, he used to, like, say shit about gay people all the time. And then his dad, he came up to his dad and told him, and then, boom, changed his ways. I just, people are, like, total assholes, like that woman. So I just totally smeared her page. Now everyone's on there and they're totally and i just posted her business page and now everyone is going on there they're writing reviews so i encourage everyone to write her a bad review i encourage everybody if you are either on that part of the spectrum if you are um part of the lgbtq plus a uh q community or if you are or even if you're just an ally, just just write on there and just say, hey, this is bullshit. I just posted it on my Instagram, too. I'm about to post it on Twitter. It's like th this woman doesn't realize how fast the Internet works. Like what this freaking Karen just said. This is going to be bad for you. Like I could ruin her life in under 30 seconds. Like this is going to be so bad. Like you got to think before you say dumb shit like that on the internet, Karen. And as a pansexual and as a person who has survived by suicide and a bunch of things, that's what hurts me the most is that what if a gay person sees this? What if a transgender person sees that and they take their own life because they saw that? You are responsible for posting that shit. You're inflicting, you're inflicting harm by showing that shit. You're making someone feel worthless and unworthy by posting that. How evil of a human being do you have to be to post that? It's one thing, like this is the thing when I tell people, it's one thing if people are making jokes and like it's a safe space, that's one thing. But this person's doing it in a hateful, evil way. And it's a Trumpert. That's what Trumperts do. They're assholes. Every Trumpert I've met is an asshole. They're all assholes. Like there was a coffee shop I went to the other day and I posted it on, um, on there. And the guy's a total jerk. And they talk shit about gay people in there and transgender people. And that's why I don't go in there anymore. I'm not going to support a business that is discriminatory like that. And and there is like a there is a lesbian like Bernie supporters like and they're lesbian vegans that I see all the time and I see them walk in there all the time. Well, I haven't seen them lately, but I see them come in probably once every couple of months. I know who they are because they look because trust me, they stand out. They've got green hair. They drive like a little like Chevy Pinto. They drive like a very tiny little car, like an eco-friendly car. They bring in their own cups. They're they're very green. You know, they, they wear like hemp clothing. Like you can tell they're like these hippie, 
lesbian women and they're super nice don't get me wrong they're super nice women i enjoyed talking to them when i came in and they were wearing masks and everything i think i was wearing a mask i could be wrong i probably forgot but i was being super respectful and i was like hey i totally agree with your what everything on your car except for the veganism i think that's kind of annoying i think that's very agitating i will never skip veganism it's hard trust me if you've been eating a certain way your whole life it's very hard to change it really is it's very hard um but i'm trying though and plus i love fish i love fish i love chicken i love pork i love uh bison i love um eel i love oysters i love shrimp i love scallops i i love to eat i love everything you know i'm a fat fuck i like everything um, I know I went off the rails right now, but I'm just saying it really bothers me of what that woman said. Um, so it's like, you know what? This person sucks. So yeah, I, I recommend everyone to go on Bruno made on Facebook and just totally thrash that business. If you see Bruno made, be sure to thrash that business and just say a bunch of shit. Just say this person's homophobic and this person's saying shit about transgender and gay people because i i have a screenshot of what she said i'm about to post it on here so i'll definitely put a link in the description and you can go on there and look up that home decor page so you know she she just ruined herself so i'm glad i'm glad that she did it though because it shows one it shows what kind of a person she really is it shows um what trumpets really are and that's one of the reasons what's great about uh, the internet and what's great about politics too is because it, it really shows who these people really are you know sometimes you want to like keep stuff to yourself but it's like you know like sometimes i can get into trouble too but it's like i think it's funny too when like people get mad at me when i start talking like abortions and stuff but like I've said in numerous parts of my other videos, just close your eyes for a moment and just dream about it. No, I'm serious. Sleep on it. Picture yourself as being in their shoes once in your life. Be empathetic. Pretend that you are a woman with ovaries, with valerian tubes and a placenta and all these things and, and wake up and and have ovaries and, and a womb and everything. And and just dream that one day someone raped you or someone of your family or somebody or something or incest. Or even if it wasn't that, what if you just, you know, were got drunk or, or even if you didn't, what if you just were with some guy and you just were having a fling or, you know, or even if you we're madly in love it doesn't matter what it was but you should still have the right to have an abortion and let's say you're underage do you think it's fair for a young girl to have that and here's the thing and then people are like well then they can get on the pill and i'm like well what if the pill's not working i thought you people were so anti-pills and vaccines I thought you guys were about herd immunity. <laughs> That's why I can't stand Trumpers. It's like they're so agitating. So, if that's the case, and if that's true, then what about that? Then why don't you have education why don't you teach your sons to not be predators why don't you teach your sons to not objectify women and teach your fucking sons to not be creeps that teach your sons to be fucking harvey weinsteins and the matt lowers and the fucking uh pentagious and 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 fucking bill cosby's of the world oh yeah you didn't know that about pentagious pentagious theater yeah supposedly a guy was like raping an underage girl and the guy's name was pentagious 
And that's where the name Pentagius Theater comes from. And nobody remembers that history, you know, because I'm trying to, like, be a historian. And this guy practically did that. And then there was all this evidence against him, and he gets away with it. And to this day, he gets away with it. And that name is still up there, Pentagius Theater. And Bill Cosby, same thing. He's released. And there's a documentary that came out. And it's like a four series on uh, on um, Showtime about all this stuff. And Bill Cosby's a total creep. And just, oh my God, it bugs me so much. And most of my friends are women. And that's what bugs me too because some women don't want to be my friends because I guess some of them don't want to be friends with guys. But I feel like this is a newer generation, but it's like, I'm not like other guys. I'm a feminine man. So I'm not, you know, like, look, I mean, for fuck's sake, I go to a lavender field every year. I'm not into a lot of the things like, yes, I do love sports. I love baseball. I love football. I love all those things, but I also love feminine things. I love smelling flat. I love get. I love buying flowers. I love smelling flowers. I like, I love doing like feminine things i like putting on lotion every time i get out of the shower i love using fabric softener on all my clothes i like um i like sometimes to wear floral patterns on my clothes like sometimes like i'll buy sweaters like they'll have like the collar or the or the pocket that has like a floral pattern you know what I mean? Like, I'll wear, like, certain colors, like a burgundy with, like, a little bit of a floral pattern that has, like, a little bit of, like, purple or fuchsia or, or whatever. Like, I, that's what I mean. Like, I have a little softer side that a lot of people don't know about. And because, like, that's that's what I mean. Like, I'm, like, in, like, I, that's why, that's why, like, when, when I hear Jonathan Van Ness, when he talks about being non-binary... I get that because it's kind of like I'm in the in the spectrum of being in the middle. It's kind of like that's where I look at it as. I mean, I don't I'm still trying to figure out all this stuff. It's still confusing to me, but like I don't know I don't know everything about non-binary. I still want to learn more about that, but like for me and my perspective, for me it's more like being in the middle. Like I feel like I'm kind of in the middle when it comes to my gender. Like I feel like I'm sort of you know, like, yeah, I do look like a guy. I, I am a guy, but in the, in a way, I, I kind of feel like a girl sometimes. I I feel kind of feminine. I, I don't feel as masculine as a guy. I, 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 I'm not, I'm not really a strong person. I'm not really into weightlifting. I'm not, I'm not really into like doing guy things or, or, or getting drunk with guy friends or that alpha male lifestyle or, or, or like, yo, bro, you know, that bro culture. I'm not into it. I'm not into, you know, how those jokes where they say stuff about women. I'm not into it. I'm not into, you know, how they'll be like, hey, mama, you know, like like on good times. Like some of those jokes today actually make me kind of uncomfortable. Like where he's like, yo, mama, how you doing? And like some of that stuff makes me uncomfortable. Like I would never say that to a woman. I would never go up to her and go, yo, mama, you it's a foxy lady. Like, I'd be like, what the fuck, man? I would slap you up your head saying that to a woman. What's your problem? You know? Or, like, if I hold the door for somebody, I hold the door for everybody. I don't hold the door just for women. I think that's stupid. I hold the door for men, women, children, transgender, whatever. And one time, I actually had a transgender woman come up to me the other day once and asked me for a lighter, and I didn't have one. I said, oh, I'm sorry, I don't have a, a, a lighter, ma'am. And she... She goes, did you call me ma'am? And I said, and I didn't realize it at the time. Like I said it. I go, oh, I'm sorry. Was I not supposed to? She goes, nobody usually says that anymore. Thank you. I appreciate that. Because I guess because the person's, because you could obviously tell the person's transgender. But I guess a lot of people don't acknowledge that person as transgender as a woman. So... I guess she felt respected that I called her ma'am. So I was like, but at first I was like scared, like, oh shit, did I say the wrong thing? Because usually I try to keep it neutral. I try to not 
say certain phrases anymore because I don't want to offend anybody. So when I said it, I was like, uh, like, uh oh, did I say the wrong thing by accident? But then when she told me that, she was like happy that I said it. And I thought that was really cool. Like I made a transgender woman happy for the first time in a long time. And see, that's what I mean. That's what life's about. Like no matter who the fuck you are or whatever, how high up the echelon you think you are, everyone at one point, one way or another feels either lonely, helpless, depressed, sad, lonely, worthlessness or whatever. So it's our job as people to be there for one another, no matter who the fuck the person is. And that's my point. So th that's why, like, you know, and, and she was really attractive, too. She was a beautiful, tall black woman, and I liked her a lot. Should have got her number, though. I I never saw her again, though. I, I think she was just passing through. I think I think it's just one of those like once in a lifetime opportunities. Like some of those people are like there's some people that you'll see in your life all the time because they like live there. Or they work there. But then there's some people that you will see once in a while and you won't see them ever again. So. I think that's what happened. But I I might. Um, I, I told my mom too. Like if you talk to that guy at the coffee shop. Like if if you do talk to that guy. Then maybe I'll change my review. But for right now I'm keeping it up there. Just because I just want people to be leery. Because it's kind of frightening. That you know that they're way too political. And it's you got to keep. You got to kind of you know not talk so much about that stuff especially if you're a business like if i was a business i would try and keep that stuff away like i would like i would you know i mean if people want to talk about politics have a discussion have a safe space that's fine but if i was a business owner i wouldn't i would keep stuff neutral like if someone came up to me and they were talking about politics stuff i'd be like ah, i don't want to talk about that and they go i want to keep that I go, we could discuss that privately, but I don't want to talk about this stuff here at this business. Because, like, in my opinion, I think if you own a business, you should keep some stuff neutral. That way you don't... Because if you want... Because if you really want to care about your customers, you want to bring money on both sides of the spectrum. If you are offending, like, certain people, whatever, that's why you don't want to do that. Because, like, that's how you get in trouble. If you bring up a certain politician or if you bring up like stuff that you watch or even if you bring up like if you watch like like a local news station like if you say oh i watch nbc or cbs or whatever i don't think it's a big deal if you say that but i think if you bring up like big channels like msnbc C cnn fox news oan um or the young turks or whatever then I think they're going to start thinking, wow, this guy, you know, they're going to start thinking, oh, this is what his political views are. So they'll start to question you. So I think if you keep it neutral, and that's why I like public news, like if you watch 2, 4, 5, you know, even, even Channel 11 is like not conservative at all. Like if you watch local news, they keep it neutral. Which is good. So that's why I think that's the good part. But when you start talking so much about politics and stuff, or you talk about a political candidate, or you start talking about that stuff, you're going to get into a lot of trouble. So I think you got to stop talking about that stuff or talk about too much about certain things like religion or politics or whatever. Like, keep that stuff away. Like, don't, like, don't, like, talk about that stuff so much. I think you should keep all that stuff away. Like, like, and I think that with everything, like if you are a business owner, keep all that stuff away. Don't wear religious stuff. Don't talk about politics. Don't don't wear religious stuff. Don't have religious stuff placed there. Don't like have any of that stuff. Don't have affiliations with certain things. Like I just think if you have too many of those things, I think it's going to start causing havoc. For your business and I think it's going to cause problems where people are not going to come in and I mean that's what I would do if I was a business owner that's what I would do 
Like, e- like, look at me. Even though, yes, I'm an atheist, and 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 I I wouldn't post. Like, I wouldn't post, like, on my business page, hey, happy atheist coming out day. Like, I wouldn't post that. You know what I mean? Or I wouldn't post, like, unless you're doing a specific business that's, like, if you're doing, like, like let's say if you did a business called, like, Gay Cafe, then that makes sense. If you're doing a gay cafe, then you obviously know it's going to be pretty much a progressive place. You You pretty much know what you're getting into. But if you're doing a business called, like, like, like a cafe where it's just a cafe and you're doing that, then that's fine. But if you're doing like a, if it's a franchise that you go to, then you kind of should just shut up what you're talking about. You know what I mean? If it's a franchise that you don't really own it and you're just making basically a commission off of the products that you sell or whatever, and it's not really your business, then you really just should just shut the fuck up what you're doing and what you're saying and be a nice guy and suck it up, you know? That's just my fucking opinion. Because I just think that's ridiculous when people do that, you know? And especially if you live in a very liberal place. Like, if you live, like, if you live, like, in a liberal city or if you live in a liberal state, you might want to stop not... Even if you are on the other political coin... You might not want to do that because you're going to cause a fight. And that's what happens. I see that all the time. I, I I remember one of my friends, I'm not going to mention the name of the coffee shop. I'm not going to mention names or anybody. But there was a person I knew that would constantly post stuff like that on their goddamn social media. And I was like, dude, if you keep doing that, you're going to lose business. You live in a liberal city. That's a very liberal city. I mean... I mean, my God, every time I go to the doctor out there, there is a gay flag that's right outside of that hospital. It's a very progressive city. I go, you are a moron if you fucking, like, post a a, a Republican candidate. You're going to lose business. You can't do that. There's a lot of liberals out there. And here's the, f- the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, I hate to say this, but the fact of the matter is, the most of the people who go to coffee shops are typically teenage kids, liberals, and and that's pretty much people who come in there. It's typically liberals that come in there. And then maybe maybe you get EMTs, maybe you get firefighters and and you get police officers and and it, it is a welcoming environment for those people, which is great. I mean, if you're a cop, if you're a firefighter, if you're EMT, if you're any of those people, it's nice to have people like that. And they probably get a discount, which is nice. They probably get a discount. You know, nurses come in there. I see whatever, you know. But, I mean, it is kind of shocking, too, when you see, you know, like, cops come in there and they don't even wear a mask. And I remember in the, you know, in the pandemic, right when stuff was just about to be lifted. And I remember, like, we were still waiting in my city for it to be lifted. And I remember cops just, you know, everywhere else they would wear a mask, but in that place, they would just take it off. And I was like, are you kidding me? And that's one of the reasons why I hated coming in there, because I just felt like, I just feel like the cops there are scumbags. Like, they just, and they're all fat. They're all super fat. They're lazy. They don't do anything. They just sit around all day. It's ridiculous. And it's just... It's not even welcoming. It's like, you know, it's like the coffee is good. The coffee is really good, but I just, I don't know. I just feel like the people don't like me really. And I can't stand that one dude that comes in there too, that bald dude that I mentioned before. I can't stand that guy. He always bitches about his autistic son. He, that pisses me off more than anything. Anyway, I'm just rambling on here, but I'm going to post that uh, that girl's uh, uh, thing that she posted about discriminating my people. So I hope you all can go on there and give her business all kinds of shit. Um, but what a, I can't believe what a moron. You just ruined your whole business. I can't believe she did that. I mean, we're just slowly ending the pandemic. And whatever business that you had, it's over. 
So, yeah, I think it's funny. Toodaloo, motherfucker!